Hey guys, welcome back to Apco. In the last episode of the Spring Boot GraphQL 101 series, we cover the cursor based pagination. And already we have seven parts of the series. And if you haven't watched previous episodes, please go ahead and watch. So, in this one, we are going to continue the series with GraphQL error help. So, let's get started. Okay, guys. I am back in the application and I am looking at this get book resolver, query resolver, right? So if I query this one, hit this one with a valid ISBN, I get this kind of data, right? So that's the happy path. So let's change this one to non-existing one, I am just typing few numbers and uh, we can hit it right so okay i got an error kind of you know uh, expressive message but it says internal server errors while executing query so this kind of errors cannot be you know exposed with the api so we need to have proper way to send the error and if we look at this Query we have just get book and we have just query the repository and return it. So let's fix this one by introducing GraphQL error handler. Okay, guys. So first let's look at how the GraphQL error handling is happening. So all the errors in the GraphQL uh, go through this GraphQL error handler interface, right? So there's a default implementation. If I press Control H. Um, this is the hierarchy so we have this graphql default graphql error handler so i have opened the class file here and the process errors method get fires when something bad happens right so first it look at for the filter graphql errors and it's kind of uh, looking at uh, is it a client error then uh, if it, how they check it is a client error by checking error is instance of exception while data fetching or exception is instance of graphql error so this graphql error is the interface that we can use to define our own graphql errors right so back to the default graphql error handler so if any of these errors are not you know client errors and it sets this as an internal server error which we got in the in the API. So let's put a debug point here and debug point in the process errors and hit the API, right? So we got the hit and it it is finding these errors. So there is zero errors. So that's why it is flagged as internal server. Error. Right. So what we have to do to show our own errors, we need to implement this GraphQL error class and provide our own exceptions and throw it. So those will be catch with default GraphQL error handler and show in the API. Right. So let's first add data package here. And let's add something like resource not found exception. Right. Okay. So we need to extend this one from the runtime exception because this is exception. And next, we need to implement the GraphQL GraphQL error class. Right. If we implement these two, we need to pass get locations as get error type. Right. I'm not going to talk about this one because this is about the location where error happens. Right. So we just return null because we don't want to you know show the actual location that exception happened to the end uh, API consumer right so for the error type I'm going to use this error type class and we can have something like data fetching exception because I don't know why they have this kind of very uh, narrow down uh, set of error types uh, anyway I have to use data fetching exception and we need to have a constructor 
to you know get the message for the message i'm going to okay uh, let's get the message from here and we can also override the message uh, there's a get message card class and we can okay we can show this like right now what we can do is in the model in the resolver in the book resolver we can check this book if this optional book is present we can actually send it back otherwise we need to throw source not found except then we just created right so there is no book with ASBN, right so let's set it as like this right now we have this exception and it's kind of graphql error and we have thrown this so uh, ideally this should catch by this default graphql handler error handler class and show it in the api so let's restart it Guys, I will give you an uh, uh, tip. I have been using this uh, plugin called Grep Console, where you can colorize uh, this terminal or the application console. And this is the plugin, and you can color by its expressions, error, warn, debug, and you can customize it. Uh, you know, more you have more options, right? So you can use this one to identified errors and the warnings and etc right so application has started so let's hit this one again okay now we got the, this kind of error right uh, exception while fetching data get book there is no book with isbn this one right so actually we you know customize the error but still we get some kind of external data fetching exception null which is not you know really nice because this is happening kind of there is a, another exception handler class called simple data fetch exception handler so this one is the default exception that got into the play and uh, it catches this exception we passed earlier and it formatted this one exception while fetching data like this right next we'll remove this one by having a new handler for this one okay okay guys so i'm going to customize there to do that i'm going to add a class called graph ql error handler right so this one should implements the GraphQL error handler which is coming from the GraphQL kickstart execution error right so uh, there's a small detail we need to remember because uh, Java kickstart is the subset of the GraphQL project right so this original GraphQL error handler class is in the GraphQL Java servlet uh, artifact right so uh, if you are not using kickstart project you need to import that graphql error handler right so anyhow uh, interface is same we have the process errors uh, method need to be implemented right so now i'm going to implement that process errors method and we need to mark this as a component otherwise this won't be identified by the spring and won't be wired right so now we need to identify these errors right and convert these to our exception 
rather than the data fetching exception. So all the errors are catch as a data fetching exception and passed to this method. Right? That's what happened earlier uh, when I showed the debug uh, debugging. Right? So now we need to uh, understand this error and convert it to our errors. Right? So I'm going to have a method. and collect collectors to list right so now we need to implement this get nested method let's write that right so this would be a graph ql error right now we need to check this if e is instance of data fetching exception while data fetching. If this uh, instance of exception while data fetching, we need to get the inner exception of it, right? So let's cast this e to exception while data fetching and data fetching ex, right? If this data fetching x get exception is instance of GraphQL error we can return it as GraphQL error and data fetching x get exception right otherwise we need to send e back right and we can use the method reference lambda thing and I think we are good to go now right so instead of this default GraphQL error handler now this will be used right so let's run it again okay guys application has started now so let's hit this one Okay, so we got the error saying message there is no book with ISBN, the given ISBN, right? So now we have the classification data fetching exception and no other, you know, the other parts we got earlier with the data fetching exception class, right? Uh, now I think it's completed and you can, you know, error, log errors as you wish and use this uh, GraphQL error handler in your project side. Right? So that's it guys. Uh, another thing I need to mention that we have started a website also uh, which is aptcode.com and you can visit there. We have published few articles right now and there will be more stuff and some uh, will be go together with the YouTube videos and the articles so uh, make sure to visit us and happy coding guys thanks for watching